Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here. And in this video, we're going to do a comparison of two powerful smartphones below the 25k price segment, the Poco F1 with the Honor Play. So these two smartphones are really a powerful hardware with a flagship processor. We have the Snapdragon 845 on the Poco F1, while we have the Kirin 970 on the Honor Play. The Honor Play pricing starts at 19 triple for the 4GB RAM variant and uh, for the Poco F1, the pricing starts at 20 triple for the 6GB RAM variant. So let's analyze uh, which is the better smartphone in this price segment and which is the value for money smartphone you should be buying. So let's get started. So first up, let's have a look at the design and build quality. So design wise, you can see that both these devices are quite similar. Both the smartphones have the notch display and uh, the display size is slightly bigger on the Honor Play, even though the form factor is almost similar. So you can see that the bezels are slightly lesser on the Honor Play when compared to the Poco F1. Now going to the back panel, you can see that the, these are completely different. We have the polycarbonate finish on the Poco F1 while we have a metal construction and the antenna bands are neatly integrated onto the uh, top panel. So Honor Play definitely has a metal construction while it's a polycarbonate finishing on the Poco F1 which is in bad by any means. So in terms of design and build quality we would say that both these devices are pretty good in terms of the build quality. Design wise we would say that Honor Play definitely has an edge because of the lesser bezels and a slightly slimmer form factor. Now moving on to the display. So both these devices have a full HD plus resolution display with 19 is to 9 aspect ratio. We have 6.13 inches full HD plus resolution display while it's a 6.3 inches full HD plus resolution display on the Honor Play. Now the display quality uh, definitely the Honor Play wins here because uh, we have seen uh, the display on the Poco F1 not being the best out there and there is also uh, a lot of uh, screen bleeding issues being reported and on top of that the display quality on the Honor Play is easily one of the best and uh, we have seen that this is a really a great display to use and the touch response is also pretty good. Now there is Gorilla Glass protection on the Poco F1 but nothing mentioned on the Honor Play. So display wise the quality wise we would say the Honor Play is our choice. Now moving on to the software. So here we have uh, two different uh, UIs. We have the MIUI for Poco and we have the EMUI 8.1 uh, and uh, we have the Android 8.1 audio on both these devices. Now, uh, both these devices have uh, different uh, UI features. Uh, if you look at the MIUI, we have uh, seen a lot of uh, features including the second space, uh, dual app support, uh, then app lock via fingerprint scanner and support for themes, uh, gestures and a whole lot of features are included on the MIUI for Poco. And this also comes with the app drawer probably the first time we are seeing uh, on a Xiaomi powered MIUI smartphone. Now the Honor Play uh, comes with uh, EMUI 8.1. Again, EMUI is uh, definitely one of the great uh, UIs available. It offers uh, tons of features and uh, options and uh, including the smart assistant, uh, support for themes, dual app support and uh, uh, customization with our uh, themes uh, app. So both these UIs are pretty good, but uh, in terms of the uh, UI response, we feel the MIUI for Poco is a tad superior than the EMUI in terms of the overall performance. Now talking about the performance, so the Snapdragon 845 is the chipset which is powering on the um, uh, Poco F1 while we have the Kirin 970 octa-core chipset on the uh, Honor Play. So in terms of uh, performance, the Snapdragon 845 is definitely better than the Kirin 970. Although the Kirin 970 is a really powerful and a superior flagship processor, the Snapdragon uh, 845 uh, outperforms it in almost all categories. And even the gaming experience was better on the Poco F1 with a really smooth experience. And uh, uh, the Honor Play also had a good gaming experience, but then we would say the Poco F1 is a superior in terms of the performance. So overall, in terms of software and performance, our pick would be the Poco F1. Now next step, let's move to the other aspects, uh, the fingerprint scanner and the face unlock. So both these devices have fingerprint scanners uh, located in the back panel. Both are almost similar in ter terms of performance and accurate as well. Now talking about the face unlock, this is one area where the Poco F1 again excels because we have IR uh, based uh, face unlock which is faster and it can unlock even in uh, extreme darkness while on the Honor Play that is not available. So that's the security aspects of the uh, two devices. Now looking at uh, the cameras, so we have a dual camera system on both these devices. We have a, a 12 megapixel primary camera with f-stop 1.9 aperture and a secondary 5 megapixel camera while we have a 16 megapixel f2.2 camera and a secondary 2 megapixel camera for depth sensing. The sensor on the Poco F1 is superior with the Sony IMX sensor and uh, on the front panel we have a 20 megapixel shooter on the Poco F1 while we have a 16 megapixel shooter on the Honor Play. Now talking about the camera experience, so here you can see that uh, uh, looking at the Poco F1 camera samples, uh, they come a bit saturated, this uh, this we have uh, 
mentioned even in our camera review of uh, the Poco F1. While on the other hand, the colors are a bit more realistic on the Honor Play. But overall, uh, looking at the details and noise levels, we would pick uh, the uh, uh, Poco F1 in terms of the camera performance. You can also see that the close-up images also looked slightly better on the Poco F1 with more details and sharper images. The portrait mode is again better on the Poco F1 with uh, Xiaomi superior edge detection algorithm and uh, also if you look at uh, uh, the low light images uh, here you can see that uh, Poco F1 manages to beat uh, the Honor Play by a small margin. Although both the smartphones are not really capable of uh, extreme low light uh, shooting. Now finally talking about the selfie experience here again the Poco F1 uh, does a slightly better job along with that portrait mode uh, the edge detection was a tad superior. Now in terms of the video recording as well both the devices offer EIS but again Poco F1 was slightly better even though it was saturated. So overall in terms of the camera performance Poco F1 definitely has an edge over the Honor Play. So that was the camera aspect. Now finally talking about the battery. So the phone has a 4000 mAh capacity battery while it's 3750 mAh capacity battery on the Honor Play. Both have fast charging supported and both have USB Type-C port. Now battery performance is quite similar on both the phones where we could get almost like uh, 5 to 6 hours of screen on time easily on both these devices. Again uh, the battery performance was a tad superior on the Poco F1 uh, by a small margin uh, and uh, this has a slightly higher capacity battery. So now summing up. Which is the better smartphone to buy? So the Poco F1 uh, base variant at 6GB RAM and 64GB storage is priced 20 triple nine, that's 21,000 while uh, 4GB RAM and 64GB storage on our play is priced 20,000. So the Poco F1 has an advantage in terms of the performance, the software, slightly better camera and slightly better battery life while the Honor Play has an edge in terms of the build quality as well as the display. The Honor Play at 20,000 is definitely one of the best value for money device out there but if you are ready to spend 1k more the Poco F1 makes even better value for money with the Snapdragon 845 chipset and a better overall experience. So our pick between these two devices is the Poco F1. So that's all guys with the comparison of the Poco F1 with the Honor Play. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button for more videos. This is Numer signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.